What's going on? In this video, we'll cover Recon NG in a nutshell. This is a quick overview of Recon NG, which is a reconnaissance tool primarily used for passive reconnaissance, although it can be used for active reconnaissance. So what we'll cover is what we have listed here, a quick overview, some useful commands. We'll go through help, show, keys, use, the tab key, which is the tab key on your keyboard, set, run, and we'll cover three modules. Again, this is just a quick overview of Recon NG. <clears throat> so first off, Recon NG, as I mentioned, is a passive reconnaissance tool. It is a framework very similar to Metasploit. So it has modules in it, and the modules often utilize different tools on the internet, which is why you need the API keys. Uh, so if you're familiar, familiar with Metasploit, uh, this will have a similar look and feel. <clears throat> So some of the useful commands, first to start it, it's command line based. So go to a command prompt in Kali Linux. Uh, my system here, I'm running Kali Linux 2019.1. Recon NG comes with Kali Linux. It is a Python script. You can just type in recon NG. <clears throat> and you see we get a bunch of those red errors here. This is all about uh, the API keys not being set. I haven't set any API keys yet. So you could type in help here, and this will show you the different commands you can do. We'll try show, and this gives you all the options for what you can show. So let's try show modules, for instance. So these are a list of modules we can use with Recon NG. For this demonstration, we'll use three of the modules. We'll use Recon domains dash host. So let's go down here. We will use this one, find subdomains, this one, Google site web, and we'll also use recon host dash ports, shodan IP. So we'll have to set the shodan API key before that. So that's the show command. I just mentioned we have to set the API keys. So if you type in keys, it'll give you the options here. So if we do keys list, we see there are no keys set. So I'm going to set the Shodan API key right here. I've logged on to Shodan over here, a Shodan test account. And if you go to Shodan in the upper left, you can click on Show API Key and copy it. Uh, that's after you create an account with Shodan. So I just copied that key. Now I'm going to go back to here, and we're going to do. If we forget, if you forget what to do, you can just type in the command again. So keys and keys add space Shodan. Hit Tab. The Tab. Uh, key is what fills in the rest of the command there, the tab key on your keyboard, which is right above caps lock. And then I'm going to paste in the key. So right click, paste. Now if I do keys list, I should see this showdown key listed right there. So really, to use this operationally, you want to list all the keys and add all the keys to here. <clears throat> so the next thing you want to do is use one of the modules. So let's use recon. You get tab, like I mentioned. Domain, host, we'll do find subdomains. We just did that one. Now if we do a show info, this gives you some info about that module, if there's any info. Most of the modules uh, are pretty sparse on the information. All it says is it queries the find subdomain page for subdomain information in a domain. Doesn't really say too much. Uses sub and domain multiple times. Typically, the only thing you have to set is the source. So this is really what you're querying against. So set source. For these examples, we'll use littlebub.com, which is my favorite kitten. And then you see there the source is set. You can do a show info again to validate, but you see sources littlebub.com. Then you can type in run, and it will run this module. So right now it's trying to find subdomains for littlebub.com. So we found three of them, store, www, and good job, 
www.littlebub.com. So this is useful information uh, for a penetration test or reconnaissance. The next module we're going to try is uh, the Google site one. So let's go recon. I'm in tab, domains, host, Google site web right there. And if it doesn't show up, I like to hit repeat it. So this should show up to make sure you're in that module. So here we'll do a show info again to see what this module does. And it says here, harvest host from google.com by using the site search operator. So it searches the site for host. So littlebub.com is already listed there. So the same source from previously when we set it is there. So let's just go ahead and run this. And did we get anything different? We got www.littlebub, www.store.littlebub, good job, and store.littlebub. So between these two queries, we were able to get some useful information about littlebub.com. So store, www, good job. <clears throat> Down here, we got www plus www.store. So we got one more site. So the final thing we'll do is uh, the one that requires the API key. So use recon host ports short in IP. And with this one, we need an IP address. So I'll do this again so it looks right. So show info. Uh, so right here, IP address is what we're looking for. I already have an IP address right here. This IP address, if I open up another terminal window, Hit control shift plus. So if I do NS lookup for littlebub.com, that should be the IP address right there. So 216.70.89.14. So I set the IP because with this specific um, query, you need the IP search operator uh, for Shodan rather than a host name or domain name. So that's already set. Now you can type run. Here it will gather all the ports for that specific IP. So it looks like on that IP address, which littlebub.com is hosted on, we have a d bunch of different ports open. So anyway, that's um, show or Recon NG in a nutshell. We could kind of went over just a quick tutorial here. Uh, quickly went over what Recon NG is. It's a reconnaissance tool, primarily passive. Went over some useful commands and I'll put all these commands beneath the uh, video as well and some useful modules uh, for recon. But there's a lot of things you can do uh, with recon ng. We just kind of scratch the surface to whet your appetite.